Hello and welcome YouTube. Um, today I got CyanGenMod 12 official installed. As you may know, they've recently CyanGenMod has recently been pushing out official releases of CyanGenMod 12. So I got uh, CyanGenMod 12 running on a Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi only, um, the Flow model, and uh, I believe they also have it for the 2012 version, which is the grouper model, as well as the one with 3G. So here uh, you can see uh, the launcher that is installed by default on CyanogenMod is Launcher 3. And there's not much to show you, and there's really not much of a difference if any at all for the launcher home screen okay now here I will just go through some of the uh, settings in CyanogenMod let's take a look at home you can see you can just select the launcher that's nothing different status bar you can set the uh, battery status style, icon portrait, landscape, circle, text, or hidden. You can make brightness control by sliding on the status bar. And I double tapped the status bar, which made which made uh, the screen lock. And then go down into the notification drawer quick pull down the quick pull down I really like uh, you can swipe down from the top where the clock is and it pulls down the whole status bar instead of swiping twice like this and then there's show weather in the status bar you can see that there is the weather right there and then show brightness slider that's showing or hiding this slider select and order tiles now this is pretty neat there's all these different switches and things like that and and the only two that have not been added are color inversion or hotspot enlarge first row so as you can see it made this part a little different and then we have themes Cyan Mod 12 themes uh, these themes are coming out quickly they're pretty new but there will be a bunch of themes coming out real soon as people learn and start developing for CyanogenMod 12 and then basic display settings nothing really special here except for a tap to sleep for the status bar which is what you saw earlier there's sound notifications nothing really different with that except the notification light, you can set some settings for the notification light, which is this. Then buttons, power menu, that is what comes up when you hold down the power button. So I like to have basically everything on. There's screenshot and the re reboot menu is pretty nice right here this is the reboot menu volume button to wake up the device swap volume buttons when screen is rotated then we have storage don't think anything is different here battery don't think anything is much different here apps Nothing really different here. 
users, tap and pay. There are system profiles, location, security, privacy. Security would be the lock screen. You can set all these different types. Swipe pattern pin or password. Language and input, backup and reset. Date and time, accessibility, printing, performance. You can set the uh, clock rate, processor clock rate, and governor. CPU frequency, I mean. And then we've got developer options, which were enabled by pressing the build number multiple times. And in developer options, there's quite a few. There's some development tools, advanced reboot, stay awake when charging, root access, I like to keep the kill app back button where you can long press on the back button to kill the app. So that's about it. There's uh, CyanogenMod 12. It's in its early stages. So I'm sure more will be added to the development. But that is basically everything for now. So thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe.